Hello everybody, this is me, Super Mario Jayo, and welcome to another unboxing video. And today I'm going to be unboxing the Super Mario Bros. movie Wave 2 mini figures. Um, I was able to get the whole set. And uh, yeah, these were released by Jazz Pacific. I don't remember exactly when, but it, it must have... It was definitely a few months ago, maybe sometime last year, in late 2023. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited because the two that I really wanted the most are Tinky Mario and Cat Mario. The rest I really couldn't care about, but hey, if my store had the entire set, I might as well pick them up. Um, so, yeah, so the way that I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this side to this side. Is I do want to save the two Marios for last, obviously because I'm a Mario fan, so yeah, I, I do kind of want to save the best for last. So without further ado, let's just get on. Let's just get onto it. So first up, we have is Shy Guy. Um, again, the, uh, well, why am I saying again? It doesn't make any sense. It, either way, <laughs> brushing that aside, here's Shy Guy. Uh, these mini figures don't really don't really have too much going on with them. Um, they do come with a question block with that has an image attached to it on the inside of the question block. So yeah, so there's Shy Guy. On the back and at the bottom we have to collect them all and this is what's in the set again i have all of them so i'm kind of i'm kind of happy with that the only, the only one that i'm missing now is peach so hopefully i can find one soon and then my my whole set will be complete now, i'm gonna be honest uh I'm, I'm not really gonna care too much about the boxes so yeah after this video that package is probably all just gonna go get thrown away so yeah <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, really, only is his own. The shy guy is only wall, which is the capsule of Luigi, and that was it. Other than that, I don't remember them being in the, in the movie too much. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not noticing any artic. Oh well, I think the hands are move, but I don't, I'm not. I'm not exactly too sure. I think the bottom of his feet move. Yeah, they move somewhat. Oh uh, well, yeah, you know, again, it's just a simple little mini figure. The paint job is pretty good, I will say, because uh, I do remember Judge Pacific's attempts at, at mini figures back then. They were all full in paint design. Uh, but yeah. So anyways, here is the image. It is an image of the Bowser statue. Of Bowser's, uh, oh, it's, just, it's a picture of Bowser's statues. There we go. Ugh. And again, you know, you just put it down, you know, like this. Yeah, have your shy guy right there, and uh, yeah. But again, uh, the, the the question blocks for me aren't really that too much of a big deal. Um, I don't again, I don't really care for them too much, just because they're they're plain old simple question blocks that have at least a nice little image on the inside. But yeah, but that's but that's about it. I will say having to put this back together sucks. Okay, nope. Whatever, that's fine. With, that's fine by me. I don't, <laughs> I don't care too much. All right. Uh, going on. Ne next up here we have is the General Cooper, or really the Blue Shell Cooper. I will say it's it's weird that they don't call him Pale Trooper because he has wings. But oh well. So yeah. So you know, there's an image of him again. You know, we have the logo Mario on the back. The name. There's a, there's General Cooper himself. And honestly, I don't really know if I'm going to talk too much about this character in the film. Just in case somebody hasn't watched it. I don't, yeah, I don't want to say too much about it. But uh, yeah, he does play a big role. He does have sort of a big role in the film. Again, I won't go into too much detail. I probably shouldn't have even said about Shy Guy. Uh, but yeah, either way, it, it's, it, uh, I'm not, I don't want to try to get too worried about it. Yep, so there's this question block. Um, I will say, I do wonder if, the, I don't think the, the so I, I have the red paratrooper here, and the red paratrooper came with like some plastic stands so that were pretty much the same material as this. I don't see General Paratrooper having something like this, so hopefully he stands, I hope. Okay, so he does stand, unlike the... The paratrooper will, he's just going to fall, oh not, wait, hold on, he does stand. So, I mean, okay, well, I guess I was wrong. 
So, like, just a side note, I've, I've, I've had a really hard time getting this guy to stand up. So I was figuring the same thing was going to happen with General Koopa, but I guess not. So, uh, so I guess that's cool. But anyways, here, here's General Koopa. You know, you can clearly tell the blue spiny shell or blue shell. And you may, and if you haven't seen the movie, you may put two and two together on what he plays or what his role is and what he does in the film. But uh, yeah, again, you can see the, you may not be able to see very well. You can see the Bowser logo on the top of this of, of the helmet, which is pretty cool. And I don't know what's going on with his left hand, though. I don't know what that is. Why, why is it in that pose? Uh, I don't think the wings move too much. I know the head does move, so that's something. So does the so does the arm. Probably not the legs. Uh, but yeah. Uh, comparing this to the paratrooper, the red one. Obviously, you know, same design, just a little bit different. And uh, yeah, kind of feels awesome. And I don't know why there's not a green Koopa. Because if you're going to have red and blue, you have to get the green one as well. But yeah, either way, that's fine. Uh, take, a, take a look at the image itself. We have an image of Bowser on his seat, as well as with the stall. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's nice to have a character in the image. Uh, I'm not going to try to... There we go. All right, that's, that's better. <laughs> All right, next up here we have is the Goomba. Now, the Goomba, I'm, I'm surprised that he wasn't in the film for too much. You know, again, I don't... The, the Goomba didn't really speak in the film, which I, I kind of wish the, Goomba, the, the Goombas did. Um, but, yeah. There's the back of it, the packaging. You have Goomba, and it'll say the shell. And it's, oh, not the shell. The the image is just another like Bowser statue image. Uh, kind of lame with you know with with, with the images they chose. But uh, yeah, again, you know, same as all the other packaging, the name, the figure, as well as the you know image at top. Okay, getting the packaging out. Goomba comes out. I will say we do see Mario stop on the Goomba though, on, on the Goomba, so you know, hey, it follows the movie. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Again, you do see the Goomba for a few scenes, but that's about it. Um, I kind of wish I would have saw a Goomba riding a, a, a cart in the Mario Kart scene, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll take what I can get. So that's Goomba, pretty simple design. Not just like base, like not just for the figure, but really overall, you know, you, you don't have, you know, it's not like the the the, the dry bones of the general Cooper. It's just a simple, like almost a mushroom like enemy, and uh, yeah, I don't need, well, I don't need the head moves, but uh, other than that, yeah, it's just a, again, just a really simple design, you know, yeah, and I was. Compared to Mario, Mario's a bit bigger, a taller, but you know, again, have you can have a bit Mario stomp on him. Uh, yeah, but again, opening the question block, that's the image itself, with you know two Bowser statues and a pillow, and uh, yeah, I, I again, I don't want to go too much into detail because there's not again, there's not really much to say about them. So yeah, <laughs> it's not it's not like I can say like. Oh, you can see the full on the Goomba, you know, I, I just can't do that. There's, 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 there's no texture on the Goomba. Alright, next up here we have is Dry Bones, who also plays, who, unlike the Goomba, actually does have a sort of a wall in the film. Uh, he's pretty much in it, close to the, well, probably like around like the, the 20 to 30 minute mark. And he is, and I do, and I do remember the the, the dry bones having one, uh, one line as far as I can remember. So yeah, so the the dry bones actually is sort of a presence in the film, which I'm surprised by. So yeah, so there's the dry bones, pretty dead looking, I will say. You know, you can see the right arm is sort of looping, while the the left arm is sort of like he's. He's trying to like reach out to you. So, yeah, so I would say that is kind of a cool pose for dry bones. 
and yeah again just a really simple you know design for dry bones paint job wise it is excellent i will say uh, but you know maybe with it being all gray it's probably not too much of a hassle for that specific to paint so uh, yeah uh, the head moves a little bit as well as again the arms and then just taking a look at the Okay, I'm seeing the image. I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't even know what this is. This kind of sucks. Um, they could have at least done the trees in that um, dot in the darklands, you know. But with <laughs> at least you don't just have like a picture of lava and that's it. That just doesn't make that. That is a stupid image. I will say to use. And I'm not, and, and I won't go too that hard on it just because it, it, it is a seven dollar toy, so I, I don't even want to be too critical of it, because again, it's just a toy. Come on, do I really have to? Okay, there we go. There's that question block. Okay, we finally got, we finally came to the last two, Camp Mario and Tonic Mario. Um, I'm gonna say Tonic Mario is the last just because that out of the two pops, that one's my favorite. So yeah. So here's Camp Mario. Uh, if you, I do remember when Camp Mario was, was first revealed. I think it was like before the Super Bowl or something. Uh, but yeah, but we got our first look in a little teaser video, and you know, it was it was during the fight with DK, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of just excited to have this one. Um, I do, because I always do love the figurines of, or plushies or whatever, of the power variants, you know, for Mario, Luigi, and others. Uh, just because, you, don't, you know, you, you always have Mario in the red and blue uh, color, or the classic overall outfit. But you never, you don't really get too much merchandise of him in the power up. So, I am, to, I am appreciative of that. So, yeah, so that's Cat Mario. You can see the image of the background is the, uh, the, the Great Ring of Kong. I believe that's what it was called. Again, there's the bottom. And uh, yeah, let's just open this one up, shall we? All right, gonna put this in the back. I will say, I'm not, like, I did kind of wish it was just the main figures and it did, they didn't come with the blocks because the blocks do take up space, I will say. So, yeah, having to get, like, if they did something cool with the blocks, okay, that's fine, but just just give me, like, blind bags of the mini figures and I'll just spend money just to get the ones that I want. You know, don't make me have to get a, a question block with the mini figure as well. Yeah, but, so, okay, so anyways, here is Cat Mario. Looking all adorable-like. I don't know what, he's just sitting, that's really it. I don't, uh, I'm not too familiar with, with the cat pose itself. I do know that this is a pose he makes in 3D World, though, and it's like idol animation. Uh, but yeah, you can see the little paws at the bottom. And it is at the top. The head does move, and that's pretty much the only articulation in the figure. I I don't need the I wouldn't say the tail moves because I I feel like that that piece of the figure is fragile. But anyways, here he is compared to Mario. Probably probably around the same size. Uh, I I can't really tell. Man, what's what's going on with? I want to get the. Okay. Alright. Anyways. There we go. There's Cat Mario. And taking a look at the image up close. There's the image. You can see all the all the cons. I'm not I'm not gonna name them all out or point them out, so yeah. <laughs> Alright. Putting the question block. Back up. 
gonna put we're gonna put Captain Mario back on his little statue or place. And finally, save the best for last, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Tanuki uh, Mario. Now Tanuki Mario, I would say did get more time, a screen time than Cat Mario did. Um, and I act, again, I am really happy with that just because again, Tanuki Mario is my favorite power up out of all of them. As well as the outfit, I don't know why, I just love the outfit so much. And I think the Fire Flower outfit is like a close second behind Tanuki, the, the Tanuki outfit. So yeah, so there, there's, you can see Tanuki Mario and the image is going to be the mushrooms because in the scene that Tanuki Mario is mostly in, he's flying around uh, mushrooms. There's the bottom. There's the name. And uh, yeah, just going to take this bad boy out. Question box out as well as take the mini figure out. And honestly, I think I just like the Tanuki one more because I feel like there's not much merchandise made for Tanuki. The same can probably go for the cat one. Um, but I think mean, just just knowing how long the, the Tanuki outfit has or the, uh, the Tanuki pop has been in the Mario franchise, Stan Super Mario Bros. 3, I think it, it is nice to see it. The Tanuki suit get more <laughs> get more merchandise. So there it there it is. Ah, there's Tanuki Mario. Man, I, I can't talk. Let's see the tail. The, the Tanuki ears. Uh, the, the the hands move. I can completely say that. The head actually, I don't think the head doesn't move, which is surprising. It probably does, but I don't want to mess with it. This is a mini figure after all, so it could. So these could probably be a little bit more fragile. My phone does not want to focus. <laughs> it's actually. Let me try to. Come on, focus. There we go. So, anyways, compared it to Mario, he's probably, I would say, the same size. Hey, come on, focus. Stop. Put it on the background. There we go. Alright. So yeah. Just doing a nice little... Almost 360 in a way. I do, lo I do love the, the, this Tanuki minifigure, I will say though. It's probably my favorite out of, out of Wave 2. With Cat Mario, again, being behind second. I don't, why am I saying again? I haven't even said it once. Uh, but yeah. Again, nice. Oh, I dropped Mario. Nice looking figure. And looking at the image itself much closer. There it is, mushrooms. With the, with the green flow. Oh, yeah. With uh, basically a green piece of paper, really. And, uh, yeah. That's not that's, that's. Okay, there we go. Jeez. And with that, is going to be it for my. Unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, six mini figures in this set, all of which are pretty cool. Uh, very well. Uh, I wouldn't say not painted. There we go. Very well painted. Um, but it really, it really, it really does depend on what you can find out your stores. So I do know that some of them could probably, could probably be painted badly. So it's again, if, you, if there's multiple of a figure that you want, look. Look through all of them and see which one is painted the best. Because, uh, yeah, the, the, the mini figures, I would say, probably get, probably suffer the most when it comes to the paint job. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, they're very nice mini figures. I'm still a little bit, like, 50-50 on, on the question plots. I, you know, I just don't like them, really. Uh, they take too much space. There's not really much of a point if they can still stand. So why would you want to have them stand with the background image, you know, it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's just something that I'm not seeing. Maybe somebody else sees it, and I don't. Uh, but yeah, either way, that's it. Many figures in this set that I was able to unbox, and yeah, I don't have to worry about finding, trying to go out to my lo my local stores and hope and pray that they have them in. I can just get 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 all of them, and uh, yeah. So as I said earlier in the video, I, the only one that, that I'm missing is Peach. And once I have Peach, I'll have almost all of them besides Bowser, which only comes in a playset. So I'm going to have to get that one soon. Uh, 
but yeah, but in terms of I guess the 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 the, the many figures, the, the waves that come with the question block, I'm only missing one and that's Peach. Um set. So hopefully I can find those soon and yeah, I can call this line uh quits for now. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And let me know what your thoughts are in, in the comments below. Do you love these spinning mini figures? Do you hate them? And uh, yeah, just, just let me know in, in the comments below. Have a discussion and whatnot. <laughs> anyways, that's, that's gonna be it for me. This is Supermonic19J signing out.